they will take everything from us. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Your spirit must be like iron. Elise Willems. Bradley Ellis. Tell me about Game of Thrones part two. Yeah, episode two, The Lost Lords, which I've played to completion mm -hmm. and you played a little bit yep. with me on the stream. Um, and I think, I guess it's called The Lost Lords because we're kind of seeing more of the, sure, the yeah. Forester family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some like, members we hadn't seen before. Yeah, like Asher is mm -hmm. in Yunkai right now and, and we got to play as him mm -hmm. for a little bit. Um, I I still kind of applaud the game for the way that they have spread out the Forrester family and we're getting to see different parts of Westeros. Sure, yeah. In all the Seven Kingdoms. I think that was a really smart decision to do. Um, and uh, it's, it's tough because we're trying to, to remain spoiler free sure, here. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, the story is such a huge element and I, I think uh, it's still pretty compelling. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, like, I'm generally interested in what's going on with this family. And everyone else that's in like the TV show universe, like all the characters we remember and all of them, how they all interconnect and everything. Still yeah. don't know what's gonna happen to everyone. Yeah, and I don't know if you feel this way, but I sort of have this feeling of there's there's less of a weight when I'm having like an altercation with someone. Like if right. I'm if I'm having an altercation with with Tyrion Lannister, there's a little bit of a less of like a brevity to it because I'm like, well I know I know what happens to Tyrion Lannister, so sure, I, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that he's going to come out unscathed. Like, if if he says to me, like, you know, you better hope that this goes okay or it's going to be your neck, well, I know it's probably going to be my neck because Obviously, yes. I, I know what his future is. Does, does that, like, impact the games at all for you? Kind of. Like, I know, like, sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm okay. I don't have to yeah. worry about anything really with this guy. But even some of the characters, I st like, I'm really nervous around Marjorie all the time oh, when we yeah. play that game. And that's such a great dynamic because you're not really concerned that she's going to attack you or anything, but you're constantly employing this like mm -hmm. diplomatic stance mm -hmm. towards her. Um, whereas like with Ramsay Snow, it's like, is he just going to fly off the handle and stab me? Like, <laughs> that's just a, a yeah, possibility. Yeah, seriously, yeah. And for me playing like Wolf Among Us, which is also, it's mm -hmm. a prequel, so, and, and like having read a hundred issues of fables, like I know what's happening. Sure, yeah. But I still kind of felt like there was a little bit more of a, a weight to compared my to decisions this. and that compared to this. Yeah, it still feels a lot like Starks Reloaded though too. Or oh yeah, like, definitely. Starks 2.0. Is this family just going to like befall the same tragic fate? Tell me about some of the new locations that we've seen in this one. So, uh, we headed to the wall mm -hmm. as um, the Forester's ward. Mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of, right. I guess he's kind of like the Jon Snow counterpart. Yeah, pretty um, much. We're at the wall and we did some training there and we're kind of, mm -hmm. I guess we're going to go beyond the wall at some point. Yeah, at some I point. Think, is, I'm not sure yet. And uh, we just, we were in Yunkai for a little bit uh, and then just saw a little bit more of King's Landing, mm -hmm. which we which we already know. Sure, um, yeah, definitely. But yeah, there. Are, I'm really curious to see if at some point the shit's going to hit the fan with Marjorie. Um, <sighs> I'm, I'm... I'm nervous about that, yeah. Yeah, because that, that almost feels like a pressure cooker that's that's kind of boiling yeah. up. Are there any characters that we haven't seen yet that you kind of think would work well in any of the stories um, that are currently I would happening? like to see maybe Jamie Lannister in it. I think that'd be cool to see him yeah. in it. I, I want to see him as well in Varys. Yeah, definitely. Little, I want to see everybody. Yeah. If there's a way we cross paths with Arya. That would be really cool. Maybe that'd be neat. That would be really cool. Oh man, thinking about Littlefinger would be like, that's like the climax of the series to me in that kind of game. Yeah. Like the mind games you could have with Littlefinger would be the best. Yeah, and then maybe just getting caught in like the crossfire of like their manipulations. Oh yeah. Like Varys and Littlefinger. Oh, uh, I don't know how you feel about this, but coming off of Life is Strange, mm -hmm. I am starting to feel that maybe it's it's a little formulaic. Like Telltale, I mean Telltale has their their strategy down, mm -hmm. they have their story type down, and they know what they're doing. But I hope that for their next game after this, we see like a little bit of a variation, new like mechanics and play totally. style, or a new different way of delivering the story. Like the way Life is Strange did it with uh, mm -hmm. the first episode with the like time travel and um, just the way that we felt a little bit more like of a personal connection with the main character. Yeah. I, I am hoping Telltale does that more for us. Yeah, I mean, I could totally... This is my first Telltale game, and I already kind of get the vibe of what every single, like, chapter that comes out is going to be like. Yeah. But they really need 
to polish that engine. They need to get a new engine. Yeah, I, I think an updated en engine for them would it's be great, too. It's pretty jinky right now. It actually, the Telltale style works really well with Game of Thrones, I guess because the books are yeah. you know, chapter by chapter, character by character. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Within, I'm excited for the next episode. I think the story is going to be quality to yeah, the end. Yeah, it's going to get, shit's going to hit the fan, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs>